Yo, what's up guys? Eric Wong here. And this is a video on an exercise that's a part of my current Power Dojo workout of the month, which is called Strong and Shredded Phase One. And it's an exercise that's actually really beneficial for improving your hip function and your hip flexibility. So this exercise, I call it the hanging one leg leg raise. And what it teaches is something very important called dissociation. So the term dissociation in this context means dissociating spinal movement from hip movement. Because a big problem that a lot of guys have is whenever they lift, lift their leg, flex their hip, the spine flexes as well. So it rounds, it's that motion, whenever it happens, it always happens together. But that's very important to dissociate so that you can do pure hip flexion without spinal flexion. Spine stays neutral, hip is flexing, okay? So often this problem comes up because of a lot of crunches, you know, martial arts class, especially you're doing like hundreds and hundreds of crunches. Whenever your abs are working, the hip flexors are working and they just get hardwired together. So this exercise is gonna help to dissociate that. That's very important for being able to keep a neutral spine when throwing kicks, activating the hip flexors. So say you're throwing a front kick, activating the hip flexor, keeping that neutral spine. So you're not rounding your back, especially if you've got low back problems, anytime you round your back, it's gonna cause excess stress, okay? So this exercise is hang one leg, raise, you're gonna jump up, and you're gonna get, I like to get the shoulder blades set all the time, okay? Keep your spine in neutral, and you're just gonna lift the one leg up, pure hip flexion, hold it briefly, and then bring it down. The opposite leg, so right here, my right leg, I'm thinking of extending it back that way, squeezing the glutes, that keeps the spine in neutral, and then that dissociates hip flexion from spinal flexion. As you can see, my spine is not flexing as opposed to doing this. Look at my spine, it's flexing. If I just do it, lifting the leg up as high as I can, spine is flexing, okay? So that's a very important concept to basically teach your body. It's a very important concept to practice and to learn, especially if you've got low back pain, but also if you wanna improve your hip flexibility. And this is an exercise that is similar to a few other exercises that I have in my hip flexibility program. If you want to check out more about it, just hit up the link below, hipflexibilitysolution.com. Okay guys, thanks for checking out this video. Do that exercise up, you know, do reps of up to 10 reps per leg, go under control. But if you're losing form, losing technique, stop before that. If you can only do three reps right now, start with three reps and then work your way up. Do two, three, four sets. Okay guys, there you go. Do it up and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.